During the next four years, over 2 billion euro will be invested in upgrading research infrastructures in Poland and the Czech Republic. Will this have the desired impact of economic growth and improvement of the citizens' quality of life? One concern is that in Central Europe, curiosity-driven research has been the traditional approach of the scientific community. Making a transition towards innovation-driven research remains a great challenge. Center for Preclinical Research and Technology, or CEPT, represents a window of opportunity to transform excellent, curiosity-driven research into innovation. CEPT is a 100 million euro investment project realized by a consortium of three universities and seven research institutes, six of the Polish Academy of Sciences. The investment is located on the so-called Ochota Research Campus in Warsaw. The campus has changed over the last few years, but its biggest transformation is happening right now. The Ochota Campus has a strong tradition of modern laboratories, such as Advanced Light Microscopy at the Nenski Institute, which under SEPT will be transformed into a cutting-edge neurobiology imaging center. A modern magnetic resonance imaging lab at the Medical University of Warsaw. A mass spectrometry facility, one of the most advanced in this part of Europe, at the Institute of Biochemistry and Biophysics. Under SEPT, it will become an open core facility for cutting-edge proteomics research or the Radio Pharmaceuticals Production and Research Center at the Heavy Ion Laboratory of the University of Warsaw that will be heavily upgraded as part of the SEPT research infrastructure. Construction of new buildings of the Center for Preclinical Research and the Neurobiology Center is quickly progressing. But the remaining challenge is to attract top international talent as not buildings and machines, but people are the main innovation drivers and the key to success for new research infrastructures. CEP partners are already attracting top scientists in biomedical research. These young, talented group leaders are poised to build research teams leading in Europe in their respective fields. Dr. Agnieszka Dobrzyn, returning from University of Wisconsin, a new lab leader at the Nenski Institute, recipient of the prestigious AMBO installation grant and the Foundation for Polish Science team project. Despite the temptation of launching a research career in the United States, returning to Poland wasn't a very difficult decision for me. Uh, having succeeded abroad, I felt that it would be possible to find an independent position and to create my own research group in Poland. Today, three years, six grants, and one million euro in research funding later, it seems that I was right. The Nenski Institute and the Ochota uh, Campus Research Environment support taking cutting-edge research projects that I always dreamed of. Our research is focused on signaling and transcriptional cascades that have far-reaching implications on human metabolic disorders, such as diabetes and obesity-related heart dysfunctions. So far, we have identified uh, several new regulators of intracellular metabolism. Now we are testing the possibility that these new regulators are involved in the pathogenesis of the metabolic syndrome. If we prove it, we should be able to create a new strategy for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. Dr. Janusz Błynicki, head of the Laboratory of Bioinformatics and Protein Engineering at the International Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology, or IAMCB, recipient of the highly competitive European Research Council Grant Award for Young Investigators and the Foundation for Polish Science Team Project. The aim of our work is to understand nature at the level of individual biological molecules and to discover engineer and design molecules with new useful functions. The work of my team is based on close collaboration between theoreticians who develop computer software and experimental researchers who study molecules in the tube and in the cell. My latest research projects have been funded by the Foundation for Polish Science and by the European Research Council. They concern RNA. I really enjoy working here at the International Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology in Warsaw at the Ochota campus. The Institute has excellent facilities and equipment, also thanks to the CEPT grant, and they allow me to do any research I need. One aspect that requires attention is the lack of funding and experts who would help us protect intellectual property, patent our discoveries. Dr. Agnieszka Haczynska, Head of Laboratory of Mitochondria Biogenesis at IIMCB, 
who is one of only five laureates of the Elite Foundation for Polish Science Welcome Program and a recipient of the EMBO Installation Grant. Our group studies mitochondrial processes and how they impact the life and death decisions of individual cells and whole organisms. Our research has the potential to find missing links between aging, mitochondria, protein homeostasis and neuropathologies. In the longer perspective, this is a prerequisite for therapeutic developments. After nine years of conducting research at the University of Freiburg, I decided to come back to Poland. The positive changes in the scientific environment have opened opportunities for fair support of competitive research. The welcome grant from the Foundation for Polish Science provides us with the generous and stable funding necessary to build internationally recognized research programs. Professor Jakub Gołąb, head of the Immunology Division of the Biostructure Center at the Medical University of Warsaw, leader of the Foundation for Polish Science team project. The aims of our research include development of novel therapeutic strategies as well as improvement of existing anti-cancer treatments. Obtaining a team grant in 2009 enabled us to expand our research team by hiring young and talented people. The major goal of our research is to develop brand new pathways for triggering anti-tumor immune response. Most of us are volunteers, young and talented people, mainly students, medical doctors and pharmacists who devote most of their free time to laboratory research. Infrastructural investments under CEPT as well as the plant technology transfer platform could accelerate our research and provide professional support, which is currently unavailable in the process of potential commercialization of our research. These are but a few examples of outstanding young people searching for discoveries that can be turned into innovations in the SEPT laboratories. But the cycle of innovation requires all three components, an R&D pipeline, more top scientists and managers to effectively use the constructed infrastructure, and more R&D funding. Technology transfer support consisting of professionals that understand industry needs and can communicate those effectively with the scientists. And industry that can and wants to absorb new inventions and technologies. Concept and other investments in the region build such innovation ecosystems 